All right, uh, we're back with an update. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to show. Uh, I got a new case. Um, wasn't really a big fan of the last one. It was very basic, as I said before. Um, now I have the easel case, so I'll just kind of show you how that works out. It's basically a normal looking case, as you can see, but there's a couple other pieces to it here. And if I can do it very carefully, I'm just going to put the camera down for one second here. You can see now it is an easel. So basically sit it up and it's uh, magnetic. So it'll stay that way. It's uh, fairly sturdy actually. It works very, very well. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you uh, very quickly is I've done another overclock, um, which now it's at stock voltage, so it's not undervolted as it was before. It's stock voltage, but now it's running at uh, one gigahertz. Um, and uh, runs it very, very well, actually. So very, very stable at stock voltage and hopefully going to be moving towards 1.1 1 .1, uh, gigahertz very shortly. I'm going to upload a kernel and uh, see what I get. So uh, let's go ahead and fire this on. And I'll type in my password here. And you'll see I'm on my home page. And the auto orientation, as you can see, works very, very well. And um, it's going to pick it up perfect. Great. Uh, so that's the home screen. Still running the same home screen, and the orientation now is just changed based on the way that I have it. So I'm going to click here. It's very, very snappy. Now it's definitely a lot quicker as far as the way things move. So let me go down here, and I just want to show you in set CPU uh, that it's now running at um, up to 1 gigahertz max. And uh, as you can see, the min is 300. So it's basically. Um, using a throttling system or a scaling system on demand uh, which is the best as far as battery life you can also set it to performance which will permanently run it at 1000 or 1 gigahertz uh, and that will definitely help with performance but it also drains your battery a lot quicker so it uh, depends on what you're after I suppose so very very well um, as far as uh, performance goes and also just overall um, stability I haven't had any issues no uh, loop booting nothing um, so it's, it's been very, very good. Love it so far. So check back soon, and uh, hopefully we're going to be running in the uh, 1.1 gigahertz range. And as far as I can tell, uh, there definitely is some, some big, big performance issues, um, you know, with, with the stock in comparison to uh, slightly uh, bumped up as far as the megahertz and also the L3 cache. Um, which is, is going to make a big, big difference in performance as far as video is concerned, HD video especially, H.264, uh, that sort of thing. So for movies, it's definitely a lot more stable, definitely a lot better now. Um, and as far as the future, um, I think it's only going to get brighter. I mean, this is uh, very, very new stuff, but right now it absolutely creams uh, what a Galaxy Tab can do as far as overall performance. Uh, of the tablet itself. So very, very impressed. For $249, you cannot go wrong. Uh, so check back soon. Thanks, guys. Cheers.